Mini LED TVs have been predicted to overtake OLED TVs in 2024. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. There is a report coming out from Korea forecasting that televisions with Mini LED backlight unit will soon overtake OLED TVs in terms of market share as early as 2024. Now, this forecast came from UBI Research which is a market research and consultancy firm based in Seoul, South Korea. And if you can look at this chart that they have actually published in their press release, you can see that even though the OLED televisions are still leading in the premium TV market segment, it will soon be overtaken by mini LED TVs in 2024. Now, I do not doubt this forecast at all, but what I wanted to do in this video is to clarify a couple of myths. And the first myth that I want to clarify is that mini LED automatically means better picture quality from the point of view of an LED LCD television. Now, obviously, I am excited about mini LED backlighting. I think, you know, by shrinking the size of these LEDs that can be put in LED LCD displays, it means that it will allow for not only more local dimming zones, but also better screen uniformity because you can actually squeeze more of these mini LEDs within the same area of screen size compared with conventional LEDs. But the key here is the implementation. And I want to stress that mini LED by itself per se is not automatically a guarantee of a good LED LCD television. Let me explain what I mean. In the press release that has been issued by UBI Research, they mentioned something to the effect that they expect these mini LED televisions to have around 1,000 to 3,000 local dimming zones. And I think that that is probably a bit optimistic from the point of view of the implementation. The reason I say this is because so far, the mini LED televisions that have been released by TCL, they have never even exceeded 1,000 zones. So for example, the 2019 8 series Roku TV in the States, you know, that had 900 zones for the 75 inch version. And then the 65 inch X10 in Europe had around 768 zones. So they won't even exceed 1,000 zones. And it remains to be seen whether the QNET mini LED televisions from LG and also Samsung's new QLED televisions, which are based on mini LED technology, will boost the zone count. And if I can actually draw your attention to some rough figures that we currently have at the moment based on the information that we have received from various companies, we know that the top end QNET mini LED from LG will have nearly 2,500 zones, but that is only applicable to the largest 86 inch model. Okay. And we do not know the number of local living zones that Samsung is going to be implementing on their 4K and also 8K Neo QLED TVs. And from what we have seen in 2020, I expect them to put more local dimming zones on their 8K sets, which obviously would drive up the price. But let's see what we find when we actually receive the review samples. And even TCL's OD0 flagship 85-inch 8K mini LED TV, which is scheduled to come out later this year, they only mention maybe thousands of zones. So I think, you know, it is really quite premature to assume that all mini LED televisions will have, you know, 1,000 to 3,000 zones. And the higher the number of local dimming zones that you put into a full area local dimming LED LCD televisions, which presumably will include more and more mini LED TVs going into the future, the more complex and the more difficult it is to program a good algorithm that won't introduce artifacts such as, you know, backlight fluctuations, such as excessive blooming, such as flashing artifacts, you know, elsewhere in the screen. So from that point of view, it is not easy. And now comes another question that a lot of people will ask me. In that case, with OLED TVs, there are 8 million so-called local dimming zones because, you know, every single pixel can be turned on and off independently of each other. So why does the algorithm not be so complex then? How are OLED TVs able to do it? And the reason is very simple. 
OLED TVs doesn't even need local dimming algorithm at all because every single pixel is deriving the exact state of the information that needs to be displayed on screen directly from the source itself. So for example, if you feed a UHD signal to a 4K OLED TV, so the UHD signal will have 3240 times 2160 pixels. So take pixel 1, right? Just a pixel 1. You know, what is the state there? Let's say it is totally black. It will just send the information directly to the corresponding pixel on the OLED TV and it can be displayed as such. Let's say you have another pixel in another part of the screen and it is maybe pure red. That can be conveyed directly to the corresponding pixel on the OLED screen. So there is no processing needed beyond interpreting the source signal. You don't have to actually design such a complex local dimming algorithm to try and suppress blooming, to try and prevent backlight fluctuation, to try and make sure that the accuracy of the image is still somewhat retained. So from that point of view, I think OLED is extremely elegant. You know, when you have pixel level control, when you have per pixel illumination, everything becomes so simple and elegant. You just need to display whatever the source asks you to display without needing to try and compensate for other deficiencies, without needing to take care of halation artifacts, without needing to take care of blooming, without needing to take care of whether the brightness needs to be tapered down slightly so that you don't actually introduce too much blooming. So hopefully my explanations have made it clear to you why increasing the number of local dimming zone count is not an easy cure for LED LCD televisions. and. I think, you know, even though mini LED televisions have a lot of potential, it all depends on the algorithm, it all depends on the implementation, and mini LED TV by itself, per se, is not guarantee of good picture quality, it depends on the implementation, and that is the takeaway from this video. If you would like to learn more about next-gen display technologies, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video.